test, Scott. It is uh, so heartbreaking to see. It's like I'm looking at a real uh, Sarah McLaughlin commercial with all these pets that need to find homes. Arizona, I know you'll do your thing. The county animal shelter, like you mentioned, way over capacity. We have spokesperson Kim Powell here. Just how many more animals are you caring for now than you usually do? Uh, we have about 250 to 300 more animals than normally. Our uh, capacity is about 640 dogs. That's what we want to operate under. As of this morning, we're at 899. Jeez, and you guys have so many animals here, you've had to send some to a different location. Yeah, we uh, transferred 44 dogs to Heidi's Village. Uh, it's a different adoption center for us. We're still staffing it. Those dogs are still adoptable through us. Uh, but we just had to get more dogs into another location because we simply have no more room here. And these, and you, you guys have had to make such tough decisions. Literally, these dogs live in half the space than they usually do brutal on top of this heat that we're dealing with here. Yeah, it's absolutely devastating. We've had to divide up the kennels. So there's one dog on the inside and one dog on the outside on some of our kennel wings. Uh, and that's tough on the staff and it's tough on the dogs. It takes us double the time to clean these kennels. It also means the, the dogs get half of a kennel. It's just a terrible situation for everyone involved. All right, so for those who are looking for another furry family member to bring home or those who can't, there's some ways that people can help, right? Yeah, so we do have all adoption fees waived through Sunday, uh, June 9th. Uh, and that's thanks to the Bissell Pet Foundation. Even our puppies have waived adoption fees. We're also doing a can't commit foster campaign. So if you can't commit for a long time, maybe a short time, you can foster a dog uh, maybe for a couple weeks, maybe for a couple months. It's up to you um, and help us find a home for the dog or help us just learn more about the dog so we can find the best home for them. Uh, and bottom line, uh, if the community can help us just by making sure their pets are microchipped, making sure they're wearing a collar with an ID tag and that way they never end up here at the shelter. Yeah, for sure, Kim. Uh, and lastly, you guys open up, I believe you said, on noon on Sunday, which is the last day of this Empty the Shelters event. Yeah, so we uh, are open on the week weekends, 12 to 5 on weekdays. So today, 12 to 6. 12 to 6. Okay, Kim, thank you so much. And thank you for all that you do. Gosh, guys, it's hard to imagine the amount of dogs, animals that are available here. But Arizona, again, I hope that you guys do your thing and come on in. Maybe you can't have a pet long term, fostering a pet. Uh, could definitely help too, guys. Mm -hmm. So Scott Tess, we'll send it back to you in the studio.